So the, the Olympia, what, what kind of thing is it and how, how did you get involved? Maybe some of the tests you did, were you getting like A stars, 100% from the start, or were you getting... Involved? Oh no. Do you think that's helped you prepare for your real summer exams? What's it like at Cambridge? Is it a nice place to be? What's your sort of preparation now for the exams that you've got coming up? The British Physics Olympiad. How did you get involved in that in the first place? Uh, any last minute advice for people who are maybe wanting to go from an A to an A star grade? So I'm in London today at the Royal Society with some people who are quite good at physics at uh, an event about the British Physics Olympiad. So um, I suppose starting from the left, uh, Mark, isn't it? It is Mark, yes. So um, why are you here today? I'm here because I, I enjoy physics questions, but uh, I find them very satisfying to do in the... I'm studying physics, so I do love it. Very good. So you're year 13 at the moment, is that right? I am year 13, yes. And the Physics Olympiad, can you explain a bit about what it is? So essentially, there are a few rounds. You started with a, a kind of preliminary round, uh, which happens to be on my birthday. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a present, isn't it? I mean, that is a birthday <laughs> yeah. present and a half. Yeah. Uh, and after that, they, each one kind of thins the numbers so yeah. that you go the original round and then there's two rounds until the, the physics camp, which we all went to. OK, so the physics camp. Um, who are you? Um, Brandon. Uh, Brandon. So uh, the physics camp, well, where is it held? Uh, so the physics camp is held at Oxford Jesus College, so we stay there for five days and four nights and yeah. there are lots of lectures, it's pretty intense. So it's basically like physics on steroids, is it? Yeah. And I mean, lectures end at 9pm, it's very Oh really? Cool. Oh, so there's not much of it, is it quite social or is it mainly just physics? Well, I mean, there are, uh, the breaks are pretty long, so we get socialised then and during meals as well, but yeah, it oh, is cool. quite full on and there's not too much time for social activity. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Okay, but, so that was over Easter and that was in year 13, was it? Yeah. And then, um, I suppose, uh, who are you on the end? Uh, I'm Benedict. Hi oh, Benedict, hi. So, um, so you did the Easter camp as well? Uh, yes, I did do the Easter camp. Okay, and then was there other stuff after that, or was that the end um, of it? So that was the end of the camp, and then after that they chose the uh, members of the team yeah. for the Physics Olympiad okay. and the Astro Astronomy Olympiad. Okay, and so you were all doing the Physics Olympiad, is that right? We were all doing the Physics Olympiad, yes. yes. Brilliant. And so I suppose it's not just fun physics questions, some of them <laughs> did get quite challenging, but um, has that, do, you, do you think that's helped you prepare for your real summer exams coming up this, this year? Um, I've definitely found that, yes, I think uh, certain problems sort of go above and beyond that A-level syllabus and I think sort of going back now to A-level yeah. is much easier and I think I understand some things conceptually a lot better. So, so maybe if you're doing a past paper, it's not as maybe hard as it, some of the harder questions are, are fairly straightforward, are they compared to the Olympiad questions? Yeah, or certainly. A different style of question. I mean, the paper three is actually kind of similar to the Olympiad because it's an optic paper where you sort of have to apply your knowledge um, to solve problems that well, you probably haven't seen before and it's like an easier version of the Olympiad, so yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, and in terms of preparing for the Olympiad itself, um, I suppose past papers, there's not really that many available, so what kind of questions did you find to, to help you? There's a website called Isaac Physics, which is just excellent. Uh, there's both purely mathematical questions that can teach you concepts that you might not know that do help you, and then there's loads of quite interesting and cool physics problems that I did throughout year 12, and that's definitely helped me to be where I am now. So basically smash out a load of Isaac Physics problems and you'll be fine. Um, and any advice for the students this year? Uh, any kind of tips for study tips that you found really helped you? Past papers. Are great. Yeah. I mean, the more past papers you do, the much easier it become. The, the learning curve once you, you think it's very difficult at the beginning, but the more past papers you do, it becomes much easier. Fantastic. That's all I'd say. That's it. Well, thank you so much, you three, and uh, yeah, congratulations today, and I hope it all goes well this summer. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank, you. thank you. So I've got a couple of students here. Uh, we're at the Royal Society in London. Um, there's uh, an Olympiad event. Uh, could you just say who you are and why you're here today, really? Um, I'm Sophia. I'm here because I was on the lower six IOAA team last year. So and, and what does IO... <laughs> IOAA... <laughs> IOAA <laughs> International Olympiad on Astronomy and Astrophysics. Oh, brilliant. And... Uh, um, I'm Francesca and I'm here for the same reason and also because I'm on the International Physics Olympiad team this year. So, the, the Olympiad, what, what kind of thing is it and how, how did you get involved? Um, well, we got in last year because of the Senior Physics Challenge. Yeah. And if you score... If, it depends if there's going to be a year 12 team and a year 13 team. Yeah. And lastly, there's going to be a year 12 team. So they selected us through the senior, the year 12 physics challenge in the BPHO. And yeah, and then this year for the physics, we took BPHO round one. And so this is kind of organized by your teachers and they sort of said this is something that you could do. And yeah, so yeah. after scoring highly on the senior physics challenge in year 12, 
we were invited to the April camp where it was sort of a training and selection camp. So that's where they sort of started the IOAA training and also um, at the end we sat exams and that's how they decided who was Okay, so it's not just everything's done in school, you're just doing te extra tests in the school. It is kind of you see, no. is it, is it an Easter camp, did you say? Yeah, yeah. the school things, they're the sort of the start yeah. of everything and then you get invited to the camps. You mentioned as well about the international competition, so what, what's that involved then? Um, it would have involved going to Bogota, <laughs> Colombia. Oh, but wow, wow. For us, it involved going to Cambridge, okay. which was also really fun. Yeah. And we sat the exams there just as, uh, as the UK team. Brilliant. And how did you get on? We, we did, got two golds, two silvers, and a bronze. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Yeah. You're in year 13, both of you. What, what's your sort of preparation now for the exams that you've got coming up in, in this summer? Um, lots of Quizlet flashcards. Yeah. Lots of past papers, lots of practice questions, and okay. lots of A-level physics online videos. Perfect, exactly, that's the right <laughs> answer. Um, and any sort of particular tips that you found? Anything you found that really worked for you? Yeah. Quizlet flashcards are so good. I yeah. just think, or just any kind of flashcards, I just think active recall is a really sort of good method for revising quite a lot of bits of content in yeah. quite a short time. So, so not just writing notes and just yeah. highlighting stuff. Yeah. That... Also doing pro Isaac physics problems. Isaac physics is really good for physics, maths, and also they've got some chemistry now, I think. Cool. Love Isaac physics. Yeah, and yeah. they've got that, like, you can select the range of difficulty levels that you want. I think they go from GCSE to university, so. Mm -hmm. So both of you next year, what, what's your plan for, uh, so beyond year 13, what's your kind of goal at the moment? Um, we have offers to study physical natural sciences in Cambridge. And that's both of you, is it? Yeah, both of us. Fantastic, that's incredible. So I really hope it goes well this year. And uh, thank you for the advice. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, so Matt, yep. tell me a bit about yourself. Where are you at the moment? Um, so I'm currently a second year maths undergrad at Trinity College, Cambridge. What's it like at Cambridge? Is it a nice place to be? A lot of people think it's sort of like very, very stuffy and you know, everyone's just like ah, studying all the time and stuff like that. But it's definitely very friendly. A lot of people will be there to help you. Yeah. And you always have like a lot of friends there to sort of like support and you know, you can work together with. So you're doing maths at uni? Yep. Um, what A-levels did you do? That's the main question I've got. So I did maths, further maths, physics, chemistry, and economics. What grade did you get for physics? Uh, so I got an A star. Okay, and were you expecting to get that from the start, or was that something that you developed into as you went through the course? I think like, when I started the A-levels, I was definitely not very confident, because it was sort of like, I was always sort of interested in sort of like the more pure side of maths at the beginning. Yeah. And I was sort of like, oh God, like this is sort of like applying it in a very, very strange way. And there was a lot of stuff to learn. And at the beginning, it was definitely very hard trying to pick up all of the concepts. And maybe some of the tests you did, were you getting like A stars, 100% from the start, or were you getting... Oh no, yeah, I mean, it was like around a B most of them. Like okay. I got like a few A's if I was lucky, basically. Was it year 13 where you thought, right, I've got this goal in mind and I've got to yeah. just crack on? And it's just like, yeah, I, I think I just sort of like hit a higher gear and like, I sort of went like, yeah, I really, really want to, you know, do very well in my, um, a levels and sort of get into Cambridge, obviously. So yeah. it's like, yeah, let me let me try a bit harder. So when you're talking about trying harder, what what did you do when it came to revising in the kind of exam season? What kind of things are you actually do sort of day to day in, in your work for physics in particular? Yeah, I guess in physics, if you have like good notes that you've already written up yourself, then that's obviously brilliant. But there yeah. are like a lot of online resources that can help you. Like I think I browsed through quite a lot of like YouTube videos. Um, the other thing I did was sort of like sitting through a few past papers, making sure you sort of like understand most of the concepts. Like you might not have to understand all of it, but being able to sort of like have some sort of confidence, sort of like dealing with sort of, because some of the wordings of the questions are sort of tricky. And yeah. you know, if you're sitting in an exam, you don't really want to be panicking going like, oh my God, what is this question actually, you know, want me to answer? And it's just a lot easier to, yeah. <laughs> you know, be able to sort of go like, bam, I've done that before. I'm filming you today, we're in London at the Royal Society. Yep. Uh, this is a thing, um, an event about the British Physics Olympiad. So that's something that you did in addition to your normal studies? Yeah, so my school sort of went like, oh yeah, by the way, there's this really nice thing called like the BFO. You might want to check it out. Um, you know, you're, you're doing okay in physics. You might want to like give this a shot. And surprisingly, it actually, you know, worked out pretty well. So we had like a sort of selection, a few selection rounds, and then we sort of got in. So you're saying it's yeah. fun, but it's more like, is it just like extra tests? Yeah, it's, it's, it's completely extra. I mean, yeah, you don't really like, I don't know. I guess it was sort of like, because the BFO was really oriented towards maths, it was actually really helpful for me to like sort of find some sort of link between the stuff that I'm really interested in, which is sort of like the sort of like fun side of maths. Yeah. Um, 
No, there's no maps as well. Yeah, 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 exactly. But um, also sort of like linking that to like the actual applications of physics. And it actually really like somehow helped me with like sort of inspiring myself to continue like sort of studying for A-level physics because sometimes the syllabus does get a little bit like, oh my God, what, what, I mean, this is obvious. So, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, um, and would you say like the British Physics Olympiad were the questions harder than what you, what you actually did in your A-level physics exam? I think they're hard in a different way in the sense that like you have to think a lot more like sort of loosely and sort of be more flexible with like how you answer questions. But it's not actually that much harder because like, you know, the syllabus is basically the same. In fact, like the BFO actually has a slightly smaller syllabus, I think, than most A-level yeah. exam boards. So. so you did really well in the, in the Physics Olympiad. Um, how did you get on with that? Unfortunately, it was online for us, so it was sort of like quite awkward. But I know um, back in sort of, sort of like before the pandemic, there were yeah. sort of like you got to travel if you made the team to like another country and sort of like stay there for around 10 days, yeah. which was which would be like really cool. So how did you find the British Physics Olympiad questions compared to what came up in the actual exam when you did your, your real sort of, I suppose, exams at the end of the course? Yeah, I guess um, it was a little bit harder in the sense that like you sort of had to think about the questions in a slightly more roundabout way, sort of like having to sort of like f be more flexible with sort of like what sort of techniques you're using to solve problems and sort of like trying a lot of different things. But in a sense, it's basically the same sort of difficulty in like the syllabus sense, I guess. Yeah, so like the same content, but yeah. you know, very more maybe mathematical, more kind of yeah, yeah, like, logical exactly. approaches yeah. to doing that. Yeah, cool. I guess it's just a more fun version of like your normal A-level question, I That's guess. Cool. So you're now at like, university doing math, and <laughs> yeah. was, is there like a maths Olympiad as well? Yeah, so there is also the option of taking the British maths Olympiad. It's obviously a lot more oriented towards like the sort of like pure side, yeah. and yeah, I guess like it's sort of like questions of like number theory and geometry and stuff like that. And did you do that? Well, I did try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of very talented mathematicians as well, so I didn't manage to make the team. But, but you still managed to get to university to do maths and... Yeah, yeah, I think there isn't that much of a correlation between, well, doing well in these Olympiads and sort of like getting into good universities. I, I feel like, in a sense, it's like a really good way to challenge yourself and like you can build the skills that you need in university anyways, but it's not necessarily like, oh, if I don't make the team, then I won't be able to make it into university or anything like that. Just finally then, so probably a lot of people watching this are going into their, their real exams pretty soon. Uh, any last minute advice for people who are maybe wanting to go from an A to an A star grade? Anything that, that you found that obviously worked for you? Yeah, sure. I guess, um, well, the most important thing is to have a very, very good rest beforehand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't take your exams when like, you know, half dead and like sort of like having four hours of sleep. Remember yeah. to have a really good rest beforehand. Have a good breakfast, you know, you'll need it. Yeah. Um, I guess in terms of like the actual exam tips, um, just during the exam, remember to just calm down, do the questions that you're most confident in first, you know, build your confidence up that way and then sort of just good luck, I guess. So Robert, we're in London today at um, an event for the Olympiad. Um, why are you here? Uh, I'm here because I competed in the Astrophysics Olympiad. So what are you doing now then? You're not in year 13 anymore, are you? No, I uh, got into uh, Cambridge to study mathematics oh, and fantastic. that's what I'm doing now. Brilliant. And how, how's that going? Yeah, it's going really well. I've really enjoyed it so far and uh, I've really enjoyed all the courses and all the stuff that I've learned. And as a university, Cambridge, is it quite a nice place to be? I mean, Yeah, the city is really nice and um, yeah, the, the, the whole university is really, really interesting place to live, live cool. and to study. So a lot of people might have heard of the British Physics Olympiad. How did you get involved in that in the first place? Well, I only really got involved with it because uh, my teacher at school um, was really enthusiastic about it and encouraged me to get involved with it yeah. and it sounded like a lot of fun so I thought I'd give fun? it a try. Is it, isn't it just loads of questions? I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's interesting questions yeah, yeah, and you're, you're learning stuff. So you did that, was that in year 12 you did the physics uh, event? I did it in year 12 and then I did it in year 13 again okay. and then it was in year 13 that I got into the, the Olympiad for astrophysics. And so the astrophysics questions, were they things that you'd been taught in lessons or did you have to learn? No, I had to learn pretty much all of it myself outside yeah. of school. But like, I, f I found that really interesting because yeah. I was sort of learning sort of by myself uh, some really interesting new topics. Did you ever want to do astrophysics at university? Uh, not particularly, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I've always really been interested in maths. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that, that's why. 
did. Yeah. And in terms of preparing for uh, the Olympiad questions, how did you actually prepare for them? So I suppose they're quite different to past paper questions, are they? Yeah, so I sort of just practised over all of the topics that um, could have been on the questions and sort of practised like problem solving. Yeah. And yeah, because there's past papers that you can do for the Olympiad. And that's on their website, is it? Yeah, that's right. And really? I sort of practised doing those and sort of practised problem solving. Cool. And then I suppose having done the Olympiad, that's quite a high level of questioning. Did mm -hmm. that, do you think that helps you prepare for your exams in year 13? I suppose you were affected by COVID, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, so our exams were a bit different. But, but, but it, yeah, it definitely did help because um, the level of problem solving that you're expected to do on the Olympiad is sort of higher than for A-levels. Yeah. So in comparison, the A-level questions don't require such sort of complicated thinking. And so it definitely makes them easier to do yeah, if you've done the Olympiad. And then in terms of going on to university, I suppose university is quite different to a normal A-level class in school. So do you think the kind of skills you've learned from the Olympiad have been put into practice? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've done some classes on like dynamics and uh, sort of physics-based topics. And it's really helped sort of knowing quite a bit of stuff about that in and, advance. And, and that's on the maths course, is it? Yeah, that's right. So you did what, was it relativity or something? Or? Yeah, dynamics and relativity. Wow, so even if you're doing maths at Cambridge, you can still, you know, yeah. continue kind of looking at aspects of physics within that. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, and any advice for anybody about to go into exams this, this summer? I think it's really just about practicing the problem solving techniques and making sure that you know the content that you need to know. Yeah, perfect. Good advice there. Thank you so much and I hope it really go, goes really well for the next couple of years at Cambridge. Thank you. Thank you.